Well, hello, my friends, and happy Friday. The last couple of days, we've talked about tomorrow. We talked about Pharaoh wanting the frogs to be gone tomorrow, so he spent one more night with the frogs. Then we talked about tomorrow as a warning and how Moses told Pharaoh that the plague was coming tomorrow, and he had ample warning to get ready. And so you and I, we must... Uh, uh, have uh, take heed to the warnings that God has given to us and be ready and uh, for that which is to come. Today, I want to talk about a blessing. Well, <laughs> could be a blessing or should be a blessing, but in all of the the uh, uh, times that Pharaoh, the, the, the plagues that came against Pharaoh, he was um, very hard-hearted, stubborn, and he would not let the people go. And he didn't even believe in God. And yet, in chapter number 12, verse 32, finally, when uh, when we get towards the end of these plagues, Pharaoh says, take your flocks, your herds, and as you have said, and be gone. And then there's a phrase that he uses. He says, and bless me also. <laughs> now, this is interesting to me that Pharaoh is now asking for a blessing. Now, whether he's asking Moses for a blessing or Moses is God for a blessing, I believe that he was really asking for God to bless him, a God that he didn't even believe in to begin with. And now he's saying, God, would, Moses, would you ask God to bless me? Well, you know, it's a, 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 a unusual request for a man who didn't even believe in God, but it's a, it's a, uh, a normal. I mean, it would be what you and I would request. How many of you like blessings? Of course you do. I want to be blessed. You want to be blessed. We all want a blessing from God. The question is, can God bless those who are disobedient, those who have a hard heart, those who are stubborn? Can he truly bless them? Well, you know, I think about, we sing the song, God bless America. The question is, can God really bless America if, if we're being rebellious, if we're being sinful? Can he bless individuals? We often say, well, God bless you. Well, can God really bless someone that is not being obedient? I'm afraid that that answer is no. God cannot bless. In fact, at the end of uh, the book of the law, which the Deuteronomy, uh, before the children of Israel went into the land of Canaan, God gave the Israel a choice. He said, now look, he, he told him, he said, you can be blessed or you can be cursed. I encourage you to choose blessing. Don't choose curse. Choose life. Don't choose death. You've got a choice, life or death, blessing or cursing. But you can't live a life to yourself. You can't be disobedient to God and receive the blessing. And so Pharaoh, <laughs> Pharaoh, you know, he was... He was disobedient and hard-hearted and uh, stubborn the whole time, and yet he wanted a blessing, and it will not happen. And my friend, it's the same with you and I. If we want to be blessed, we've got to be humble. We've got to be obedient. We've got to follow God and listen to him. And so I encourage you now, today, encourage you over the weekend, be blessed. But the only way that's going to happen is for you to follow God. Well, as the saying goes, God bless you. <laughs> I hope he does. God bless. Bye-bye.